With a whopping nine different models in its current range, it could be difficult to know which Callaway iron is right for you. But in this video, I'm going to be testing them all out on the golf course to help you understand how the performance differs across the range and guide you into the best model for your game. So if you're a better player or a low handicap golfer, there are really three irons in the Callaway range that you would probably be considering, generally speaking. And I've got them here in front of me. They are the Callaway Apex MB, which stands for Muscleback, the Callaway Apex Pro, and the Callaway Apex TCB, which stands for Tor Cavity Back. Now the Apex MB, as I mentioned, is a Muscleback blade. It's the least forgiving iron within the Callaway range. It's gonna give you the softest feel, there's no question about it. It's really designed for golfers that don't miss the middle all that often. There's not a whole load of forgiveness built into this club at all. You get really crisp turf interaction with this club, big divots. It's got quite a sharp leading edge. It's going to give you that turf interaction that tour players like. Very narrow sole. It's a really, really pleasing iron to hit. Going to give you very consistent distances out of the middle. But then if you're looking for something similarly compact, that just gives you a little bit more margin for error on your strike. The Apex TCB is an excellent option. It still has that forge-like feel, so it feels really soft. This is really popular on the tour players, this club, because it combines a really compact, streamlined look with a really stable, solid feel with a hint of softness to it. As you can see, it's not really a muscle back. It's kind of this section that's screwed in on the back just to give you a bit more oomph behind the face and testing out the course. It clearly had a little bit more spring to it versus the Apex MB. And then you've also got the, the option of the Apex Pro, so this has some tungsten weighting inside of it, so it's going to get a bit more stable on offset hits and give you a slightly more launch as well. Testing out on the golf course, the turf interaction was similar to the Apex TCB, but it did have a little bit more of a lively feel to it. And the loft is slightly stronger here in the 7-iron. With these two, it's 34 degrees, and in the Apex Pro, it's 33. So as a result, I was carrying this around about three to four yards longer on average, and it just gave me a little bit more consistency where I didn't quite catch it out of the middle. So um, three better player irons. Again, they're all geared towards good ball strikers, but the Apex Pro ha probably has the, the greatest amount of forgiveness on offer. So if you're a mid-handicap golfer looking for something from the Callaway range that's going to give you good distance and forgiveness without being too chunky or oversized, there are really two standout options. You've got the Callaway Apex 21 iron, which came out last year, and the new Callaway Rogue ST Pro. Very similar in size, very similar in spec makeup as well. Both these seven irons are 30.5 degrees. But I would say the Callaway Apex for me, because it's slightly larger and a little bit more forgiving, this is kind of a, a true cavity back style design, whereas the Rogue ST Pro is like a hollow player's distance iron. So they're kind of constructed slightly differently. While the Apex iron has a forged body, for me, it did give me a little bit more distance. It was only about one or two yards longer on average, but just felt a little bit more stable than the Rogue ST Pro, which don't get it wrong, felt really nice, very springy, um, but just maybe didn't quite have that stability off centre. Felt like performance, I was just getting a little bit more ball speed and distance out of that Callaway Apex. But in terms of size, not much difference in it. They strike a really nice balance actually, looking inviting to hit down behind the ball without being too large. Spin profiles are very similar. I'd say the Apex, look, observing the ball flight, just flew the ball slightly high. It does have a slightly wider sole to it, which also potentially gives you a little bit more margin for error on your strike as well. And I think the, the premium finish on both is excellent. So when it comes down to choosing between the two, there's not much in it. Apex, probably slightly longer, a little bit more forgiving. It's also a little bit more expensive as well. Something to factor in, you know, a good 100, 150 pounds per set more expensive. Um, and slightly different feels as well. So not much in it, give them both a try and see which one ticks the most boxes for you. Right, so if you're a mid to high handicap golfer looking for maximum distance and forgiveness from the Callaway Iron range in 2022, these are the irons that you're gonna be considering. The Callaway Rogue ST Max, the Callaway Rogue ST Max OS, and the Callaway Apex DCB. There is also a fourth option, the Callaway Rogue ST Max OS Lite, which is essentially a slightly lighter, as the name suggests, version of the Rogue ST Max OS. Has slightly uh, weaker lofts to give you a bit more launch. Comes in graphite shaft only. It's designed for senior golfers, lady golfers who need a maximum launch assistance. That's an option they would try to help them give you a bit more club speed as well. But these are the three main options. Starting with the Apex DCB. So this is a carryover model from last year. DCB stands for deep cavity back. So it's essentially a slightly larger version of the Callaway Apex iron, slightly stronger in loft as well. So it's gonna give you a little bit more distance, uh, certainly a more hotter, 
a solid feel than the Apex, um, but it kind of brings in the Apex characteristics into more of a game improvement iron. So there's a lot of golfers out there who want to play a distance club, but don't really want that harsh, clicky feel. And this one delivers that really well. I've, I've really enjoyed testing this iron, actually. It's got a, a little bit more offset versus the Apex, a thicker top line, but that really nice um, that kind of satin chrome finish, really nice feel, springy, but not too harsh. So uh, a really good option for a mid to high handicapper. And then you've got the two, um, the new Callaway Rogue ST Max irons. Interestingly with these irons, the Rogue ST Max has slightly stronger lofts than the Max OS. You would think the OS would be larger and also have stronger lofts, but the Rogue ST Max 27 and a half and the Rogue ST Max is 28 and a half. So spec sl slightly differently as to what you might expect. Testing out the golf course, full fight with these irons is quite flat for me, even at my swing speed, because they are so strong in loft, the ball flight is quite flat and hot. You don't necessarily get a whole lot of stopping power with these clubs, but what you do get is exceptional distance and an incredible feel. These irons feel really, really hot off the face, much like a metal would actually. You get almost quite a firm, clicky sound to it, but they do come off like an absolute rocket. So if you're looking for more distance, you're definitely gonna get it with these irons. Looks wise, very similar. You probably get slightly thicker top line in the Callaway Max iron, which is again, surprising. Um, you would expect to get it from the Max OS, OS standing for oversized, but actually looking down behind the ball, there's not much in it. There's a hint of offset there. I like the double white score lines on the bottom. That just gives you a lot of alignment assistance um, down behind the ball. And these do have a lot of draw bias built in. There's quite a lot of offset there. Testing it on the golf course, you know, it's easy to turn these over from right to left if you want to, or if your miss is to the right, you're going to, you're going to enjoy the correction that's on offer with these irons, and especially the distance as well. So, you yeah, know, three really competitive options in the in the distance iron market, if you like, if you're a game improver, super game improver, these three irons do offer excellent levels of performance depending on what you're looking for. So hopefully you found this look through the Callaway iron range useful in terms of narrowing down the iron that might be right for you. I think you'll agree there's a nice progression of looks, feel and distance through the range as you work through those nine different models. And don't forget with the Apex line in particular, you are able to combo that model with either the Apex DCB or the Apex Pro, depending on your ability level, to give you the performance where you need it. So potentially opting for the DCB in those long irons to give you a little bit more help, or transitioning from the Apex into the Apex Pro in the short irons to give you a little bit more feel and control on those scoring shots. But whatever you're looking for, there's definitely gonna be an iron for you within the Callaway iron range, and hopefully you've identified that by the insights that I've put across in this video. Do click the like button if you enjoyed this video and make sure you subscribe to the Golf Monthly YouTube channel so you don't miss any of our equipment review videos. But that's all from me from Peterborough Milton Golf Club. I'll see you next time.